Welcome to the Street Board Connection with Tommy and special guest appearance by my daughter, five years old, Caitlin Myla Kerr. She's got an impersonation of uh, Vicky Guerrero. I lay it all on to her. Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me! And there you go for, from the uh, peanut gallery and my daughter. And now for your WWE results of uh, SmackDown uh, Saturday Morning Slam, Superstars, and some other uh, wrestling news as well. The Rock has landed uh, the lead in the forthcoming movie Hercules, based on the graphic novel Her Hercules, The uh, Thracian Wars. Shooting is to begin early 2013 meaning that the project could be going on while The Rock is working with WWE leading into WrestleMania 29. You can read, read more at Deadline.com backslash 2012 backslash 11 backslash Dwayne Johnson set for Hercules Brett Ratner to direct. So let's see. Rock will have a movie role playing the strongest man in mythology while working for WWE at the same basic time. Anybody want, want to bet whether he's Jack to the moon when we see him next year? The Fandango video that aired on Monday's WWE Raw was for Johnny Curtis. He has been working a similar gimmick during the dark matches, thanks to several .NET readers. And you can uh, check out the footage of Curtis dancing to the Fandango music during his entrance at a show last month at, on uh, youtube.com backslash watch question mark YouTube. v equals b capital q capital a one n j p five nine a u ampersand feature the inside the ropes radio with alex wright Doth wonder kid so it aired on, on Thursday night at 10 p.m. Available at InsideTheRopes.Podbean.com On being in WWE during, I mean, WCW during the NWO boom period, it was not a great spot for guys who weren't in an NWO angle. The other guys were forgotten a little bit. I didn't want to be a part of the NWO. It didn't seem right, the uh, right fit for me. Too many old guys. Why the Berlin character was canned so quickly after its day, his debut. At that point, nobody backstage really knew what was going on in WCW. Nobody knew who was the boss. If they were go gonna get uh, have a job in the next few weeks, backstage morale was the was the shits. Finally, when Vince Russo came in, he dropped every angle, every character that Eric Bischoff had created. He told me he didn't like it. He said, we're, we're going to leave the gimmick. And uh, that, that was the end of that. Then he com comments on David Arquette winning the WCW title being good publicity for the company. Bullshit. No. It damaged WCW. It, I mean, if guys like Hulk Hogan, Sting, Ric Flair had wrestled these epic matches to win it, then you just give it to an actor? Nah, that's bullshit. We lost a lot of fans from that. To hear the full interview where Alex Wright talks about how he ended up in WCW, initial impression of Triple H, the Dolph Wonder Kid gimmick, and the infamous match with a trap door in negotiations with WWE, head over to Facebook.com backslash the Inside Network. Former WWE Diva Karma has returned to the WWE. Uh, for uh, of uh, being FCW, she has not been seen in in ring since uh, her, a short stint in January's Royal Rumble. Is returning to the ring as Awesome Kong on November 17th for Florida Underground Wrestling in St. Petersburg, Florida. I do apologize, that is not from FCW, which is no longer in existence. It's now your NXT crap. Uh, you can get the full details on the event at facebook.com backslash fuw.pro. This, this is encouraging news for Kong, a.k.a. Kia Stevens, and her health. 
She suffered significant emotional distress after her miscarriage, letting her health go, which caused her the WWE spot. She has been working hard to get back into shape, and this can only bode well for her future. Plus, with Beth Phoenix no longer with WWE, we might actually get to see the much-anticipated Beth vs. Kong match somewhere else on the Indies. TNA wrestler Brutus Magnus, a.k.a. Nick Aldis, turned 26 today uh, on November the 6th. He was born in 1986. As seen Monday on Raw, WWE overhauled its plans for Survivor Series on November 18, 2012. On the show, Vince McMahon mandated that CM Punk will defend his WWE Championship in a triple threat match against Ryback and John Cena at the pay-per-view event. With uh, my predictions last month being a triple threat, well, now they will have it at Survivor Series, along with the Survivor Series match itself. With this turn of events, Team Punk is known as Team Ziggler now, while Team Foley has an empty fifth slot. Prior to the change, the Miz quit the group in protest of Punk's leadership and was replaced by Wade Barrett after Paul Heyman aggressively sought, out, sought him out. <coughs> According to the Wrestling Observer newsletter, WWE changed their plans for multiple reasons. Among them was that the originally scheduled main event, Team Punk vs. Team Foley, traditional Survivor Series, Survivor Series Elimination Tag Match, would draw dismal pay-per-view uh, buy numbers with rare exceptions. That tag team matches are, as main events are generally mediocre earners for on a pay-per-view. The entire bragging rights concept was dropped for, for that very reason. What also pl uh, swayed plans for Survivor Series were the pay-per-view buy figures for Hell in a Cell on direct TV being surprisingly strong. Privately, McMahon credited Ryback for the result and felt placing him on a 10-man tag match, even though he would likely be left standing, would not be beneficial to him. McMahon feels that they need to capitalize on Ryback's momentum, which would require the muscle-bound grappler to challenge for the WWE Championship in the main event. SmackDown superstar Ted DiBiase Jr. turned 30 years old on Thursday. Uh, that's yesterday. Former AWA Tag Champion and WWE Intercontinental Champion Ken Patera turned 70 years old. He was born November 6, 1942. Patera Earned a global medal in weightlifting at the Pan American Games in 1971. That was the brother of my. That was the year my brother uh, was born. At last check, he was living in Twin Cities era, er, area. He promotes the uh, independent shows in the area at one time, but I don't believe it's, it's still going on or doing so. The following matches are listed for 11 p.m., airing on AWA on ESPN Classic. Doug Summers versus Gunther. Jimmy Snuka versus Fargo. The Midnight Rockers versus Larry Zabisco and Mr. Go. The show was taped uh, or had an original air date of July 31st, 1986. And Darren Gutridge was at the SmackDown tapings as well as the uh, Raw tapings. And he passes the Hellasania report on Saturday morning Slam. Dark match, Jack Swagger returned to action, defeating Emil... Satoshi, a four-minute squash match. Swagger had the same gimmick he's used in the past, thanks to .NET reader Robin Ball for passing along the identity of Swagger's opponent. And Saturday morning slam results as Josh Matthews and R-Truth come out for commentary. Usos defeated Jessica Gabriel and Tyson Kidd in six minutes, 30-second 30 match. 30, 30 match. While well, the match was uh, had a, a few nice spots thrown in, Crowd was pro, pro Gabriel and Kid. Usos won after a Samoan drop. Match number two, Jinder Mahal with Heath Slater defeated Ted DiBiase Jr. in a three minute dull match. Mahal won by rolling through a crossbody from DiBiase's corner roll up. And that concluded the taping. And now for your main event show on Ion Network, taped on 11 6 in Birmingham, England. 
Michael Coleslaw and The Miz started the show from ringside. They started to hype the main event. But Big Show's music hits and he comes down to join them on commentary. While the cell phone video of the pub fight aired, Way Barrett hit his ring entrance and his hype video aired. He used, the, he's, he used the word barrage twice in the video. Blah. The UK crowd was happy to see him. He started to cut a promo, but Seamus' music hit to big booze. He stormed to the ring, but went after the sh uh, show instead. Referees broke up the fight before it even started. Everyone faced off into a, a commercial break. Well, we, we got a good opening just, just to see Bear, uh, the Bear video, which was ne needed, but skipped the Seamus one because we didn't need it. I also like how they're using the actual storyline to make things happen for after the week blip of the six-man match last week. Then we get the first match, Sheamus versus Wade Barrett. Bell rang as soon as the show came back. The show was uh, big. Show was ra ra uh, raging about Sheamus' attack. As it was on commentary, calls I asked show if Sheamus might be upset after uh, because of the attack from behind. Big Show blowed him off, and Cole said that it was it was a fair fight. Miz calmed Show down and ch uh, chastised Cole for going after the world champion in the ring. Sheamus got all booze for, for his offense, while Barrett got cheers. Barrett clotheslined Sheamus over the top rope, and Sheamus grabbed, grabbed his shoulder because his arm was, was in the ropes. He tried to get back in the ring, but Barrett uh, hit a nasty elbow and knocked Sheamus back, uh, back to the floor. Great mic work from the three on the floor. Serious, great, seriously, great work. Back from commercial, Barrett pounded on Seamus as the crowd started dueling chants with Barrett getting the louder chants. The fight spilled back to the floor and Barrett hit, a, hit an elbow from, a ra from the railing in a, in a cool looking spot. He rolled Seamus back in the ring for two. Seamus hit a back elbow and then, then a slam. Both guys sold into the break. Back at 17 minutes and 7 seconds in a match, the two men traded, yeah, boo punches uh, uh, with Seamus on the boo side. Barrett escaped to the floor, and Seamus dove on, on top of him. Wow, Seamus played to the crowd, and they booed mightily. Barrett hit a knee lift, and Barrett then made, uh, hit a back mule kick on a kneeling Seamus for, for a two count while Big Show marked out. Seamus slipped out of wasteland, Missed a, a broke kick and took a spinning side slam for a great near fall. Seamus ducked the clothesline and hit Irish Curse for a two count. Uh, hearing him booed like like this is crazy. Seamus went for went to the top, but Barrett stopped him and tossed him to the, uh, to the mat for a two count. Barrett went for the second rope elbow drop, but Seamus got got the knees up. Seamus stood and lifted uh, Barrett for white noise. Big Show said. This is garbage and left. Show stared at Show while he was uh, he hit the move. Show walked up the ramp as Seamus hit, hits the road kick for the win. Show stood on the ramp and clapped for a moment before holding the title belt up at, at, at Seamus. Seamus defeated Wade Barrett in 22 minutes and 43 seconds. What can I say? Just a superb match and Show really added to commentary. This did more to put uh, heat on uh, Seamus versus Big Show rather than just about anything else I've ever seen. Bear is a is, Bear is a stud, folks. I realize that uh, that shouldn't be be news, but some people are still sleeping on him. He was great there. This is a must see match, no question about it. The announce team plugged the hur the hurricane funds in New York. And New Jersey, a video recapped what happened with Seamus and Show before the match. Backstage, Max Stryker tried to ask, uh, ask Big Show about Seamus and, and Survivor Series. Show walked away, but Stryker kept pressing, and Show knocked him out. Video recapping the Brad Maddox saga. And the announced team hyped, uh, hyped his match with Ryback on, on R-Truth from Raw, and little Jimmy made their entrance. He's, he's Slater and General, General Mahal was out next. So we get the third match. R-Truth versus Heath Slater with, with Mahal. The match was joined already in progress. Slater had Truth in a short 
dance off it. They even got the uh, hot the UK crowd, and they didn't seem to care about. Truth closed eyes later to the floor. He, he just started to follow, but Jinder uh, distracted him. Allowing Slater hit a clothesline, a small 3MD, 3MB chant broke out. Slater distracted the ref and allowed Mahal to get a cheap shot on Bear. Uh, I mean, on our Truth. Crowd completely died as Truth hit the uh, suplex stunner. Mahal jumped in the ring and Truth uh, to call and hit Truth to call the disqualification. And the match took seven minutes out of our lives. Lady won by DQ. After the match, Ginger uh, uh, tried to, uh, he hits a, a high knee, and Slater hit the smash hit to leave Truth out. Commentators announced hell, hell, Team Hell No versus Road Scholars next week and showed a short video hyping it up. I almost, I almost died with it. With the UK crowd in the ma in that match, Slater is more uh, more competent in the ring, but the 3MB gimmick is drizzling diarrhea. The reason they they gave for Drew McIntyre not being there was scouting venues for for their tour. Are you kidding me? This was a good show right up to until that match, but secondary match is usually a filler, so no real surprise. And that, is, that ended the uh, results for that show. And now for SmackDown tapings. Again, uh, Darren Gutridge posting. Michael Cole and JBL come out for commentary. Cole slides in the ring. It, it was in the ring that SmackDown started. Seamus came out and they showed cell phone footage of Seamus and William Regal in a pub before attacking Big Show. Show knocked out Regal and beat up Seamus. Sam has called out Big Show. Show appeared on the time. He said he held back enough to, to allow Seamus to make it to Survivor Series. Show declined to come out. And Wade Barrett came out instead. He told Seamus to shut up. It reminded him of their match on main event. Seamus asked him to come to the ring and Barrett declined as well. <coughs> Backstage segment, Booker T. Booked Seamus and Regal versus Barrett and Big Show. First matchup for the evening was Kofi Kingston defeating The Miz to retain the Intercontinental title in 8 minutes 50 seconds. Good match that the crowd uh, bought into. Miz worked, worked the left leg in most of the match before Kofi hit a crossbody block for the win. After the match, Miz offered the ha a handshake and Kofi drop kicked him. Match number two, primetime players defeated Rey Mysterio and Sakara in a 3 minute 20 second match. Solid match that the crowd bought up. A notch. As the fans bought into the Mysterio and Sakara spots, Sakara took out Darren Young, but Titus O'Neil caught Mysterio in the build up to the 619 with a stand, with a sit up, spine buster for the win. After the match, Matt Stryker try, uh, tried to interview the players, but they just shut him up and interviewed themselves. They asked questions that, that were all answered by millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. They tried to, to make Stry uh, Stryker do the millions of dollars dance, but he, he couldn't. So they did it themselves. <clears throat> Match number three, Big Show and Wade Barrett defeated Sheamus and William Regal in 11 minutes 30 seconds. An okay match. The crowd was not was is it wasn't as hot as it was yesterday on Raw. As Regal and Barrett only got it, got a mild pop. Regal did most of the selling and got a KO by by Big Show after hitting his running knee finisher. Back seven, Del, uh, Del Rio called called himself the Apex Predator and was wished good luck by Rosa Mendez. Match number four: Randy Orton defeated Alberto Del Rio with 17 minutes 30 seconds in a Falls Count Anywhere match. A boring match for the most part, not helped by a flat crowd once they exited the, re the arena. And the feed cut twice when they brawled in the uh, concession hall, but the crowd and the match picked up, uh, picked up. Once they got back in the ring, Orton went through a, t a table before Del Rio took an RKO on the steel steps. Back inside the ring, giving Orton the win, and that concluded SmackDown taping. 
and I didn't uh, get any uh, main event dark matches or results for that event. So that ends my SmackDown taping for this week. Thanks and peace out.